We are two weeks away from the big publisher's clearinghouse end of year giveaway. Unfortunately, though, scammers may use that to prey on your mom and dad. Consumer reporter John Matarese shows what to watch out for, but first, a scam involving a popular HGTV show, John. You know, Kristen, everybody loves Drew and Jonathan, the stars of HGTV's Property Brothers show. But if their show calls you, beware. When I first saw the message, I got really, really excited. And I was like, oh my God, how am I going to explain this to Keith? Is he going to want to do it? Lisa Hartman posted on Facebook she'd like the Property Brothers to come to her home. Well, that's when she got a Facebook message claiming to be from their manager and contractor. But he demanded money up front, several thousand dollars. You see, it's a scam. The Property Brothers never ask for money to be on their show. Well, we've all heard of Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but this year had another one to it. Green Monday. Yeah, that's today. It was invented by eBay. You know, you'll find a few good markdowns around today, but analysts say really the day to watch for is free shipping day. That's this Friday, where more than 1,000 online retailers are expected to offer free shipping and extra bonus deals. We're two weeks away, meantime, from the big publisher's clearinghouse $2 million end of year giveaway. Unfortunately, scammers know that too, and they may use that information to target your mom and dad. We all secretly dream of the prize patrol showing up at our door. Ellen Olson did too, here in her Brown County home. So she was stunned when she received a letter and check from publisher's clearinghouse. I thought, well, maybe it's legitimate. The letter said she was the winner of PCH's $2.5 million grand prize. The $5,000 check was to cover taxes and fees. But something wasn't right, her daughter Beth Ann says. I told her to cash the check, and the other thing was mentioned, do not tell anybody. Not tell anyone? It sounded fishy. What Beth Ann did next is what you need to do if you get a call or letter saying you're a winner. Go to the PCH blog, and over here, type in the word scam you'll see all the warning signs that you're about to be taken. And I Googled Publishers Clearinghouse to see how they would notify winners. And they said they just come to the door. They don't call you, they don't send you any letters. Good thing she did. PCH says it will never call or email in advance to say you're going to be a winner. And they'll never ask you to pay taxes or any money up front to collect your prize. That $5,000 check, fake. And had Ellen cashed it, she could have lost five grand. It's terrible. The greed in this system is just so, so bad now. It's a good thing she didn't fall for it. To give your older parents or grandparents a heads up, if they win the PCH sweepstakes this month, the prize patrol will show up at their door, not in their phone, email, or mailbox. Finally, it's Cheap Gas Monday. Price is up a little bit. Ron McKitty says UDF in Reading is $225. Bob Apke found $227 at the UDF on Beachmont Avenue in Mount Washington. In Kentucky, the Speedway in Florence is $244, according to Kermit Balmer and our good friend in Indiana. Terry Hankenburns reports 233 at the Fuel Mart in Aurora. Decent price. You don't waste your money. Kristen. Thank you.